The right music can change everything about your video production. And I don't think it's any secret the power of music and cinematography. We all know those movies with that certain scene where the song's playing during the certain shot and it just kind of blows your mind. It either makes you want to ball up with tears or stand up and cheer or whatever it may be. We all know that music and video production kind of go hand in hand. The right songs I feel like have not just enhanced my videos but kind of set me apart from the other companies that my clients may have been looking at. And in a past video, I talked about how from the beginning of my career until now, I feel like the right music can kind of guide you through an edit, almost telling you exactly where to lay out your footage. So naturally, the next question is, uh, if the right song is everything, then where do I find the right song? And for this video, I have partnered with Artlist.io. Because it can be such a nightmare when you're searching for the right music for three hours, you don't find it, and you definitely don't feel like editing anymore, and you're running out of time. With their yearly subscription, you get an unlimited license to their entire catalog. And what I love about Artlist personally is it's not just quality, it's now. It sounds modern, it sounds current. I think in video production and marketing, um, commercial work especially, audio is everything. The music is the, like the heart and the soul. It's like it, it can bring the vibe to the entire thing. And who wants the old vibe? I mean, is anybody looking for the old vibe? I and I don't think finding what you're looking for could possibly be easier. The way they have these things sorted and categorized is just unreal. I mean, the second you think to yourself, uh, I kind of need like a classy string thing, boom, boom, you're there. The second you're thinking, I kind of need like a club electro thing, bow, bow, you're there. The second you're thinking, ah, this could use a little R&B, boom, boom, you're there. So for the right music, click the link below and you'll get two extra months off your annual subscription. And now that you have the right music, let me show you what to do it. For me personally, the easiest way to edit a video is to music. And a lot of the time, I won't even start uh, on an edit. I won't even pull any clips into the timeline until I've found the right song. Because once I find the right song, I feel like it kind of shows me um, where the slow-mo should go, where the energy is, where the emotion is, where the feeling is, where either the up or the down is. And you can use kind of the song because somebody's already put so much talent and effort into the music itself in creating emotion and creating certain feelings to help you complete kind of that end result that you're going for, um, to help your videos look more professional, to set you apart from other people, and to overall make more money. Um, and I'll show you exactly how I use music to actually do that uh, here in a second. But if we jump into DaVinci Resolve, I'll show you uh, just a quick video that I did for Ruck Nutrition, and then we'll kind of break down how I edited to the music. There's several techniques I use there um, with the music in mind. So in the beginning, I kind of, the music's a little more dreamy, it's a little more floaty. So in the beginning, I'm not even editing to the beat really. I'm kind of just, kind of, some shots I'm cutting right to, some shots I'm, I'm fading to. Um, I'm kind of just staying floaty with my cuts and my edit like the music is. And it's not till the beat comes in that I actually start to edit everything right on the beat. And it kind of becomes more like this dance with the clips and the movement of the people to go with the beat. And you'll see here that with these girls running, I'm not only cutting on the beat, but then I'll do little pull, push ins and pullbacks uh, to kind of accentuate the little beats in between the bigger beats. So, so you might notice there, there's that little jump back and then there's one here too, right there. Huh? right there. And then of course you got the speed ramping to kind of slow down to accentuate the song, but without the song, the speed ramp in itself, it's all just kind of random clips. It looks good. I'm not going to I'm not going to play myself down. It looks good. 
But still, uh, it's kind of the, the music that kind of helped me find the good shots to help it flow because the music flows. And so if the clips flow to the music, then essentially the clips will flow together even without the music. So that's kind of why it looks good even without the music because uh, the music doesn't really change it. The music in itself honestly kind of made it. And also with these rugby players, you can see that I'm doing the speed ramping to the beat while also working with their movements to the beat to almost make it seem like their movements are going with the beat. And all these little cuts and jumps are all to the beat and to accentuate either a, a snap or a clap or I guess I did that backwards, but or a kick. Um, but it's all kind of there to kind of already take advantage of how much work was already done in the music already. And it really brings in the energy and the whole vibe of this whole brand. More speed rapping and... So it's, it's really simple um, when you get down to it. Now, you kind of have to feel it out and again, Make sure you have the right song and, and you should kind of intuitively be able to kind of feel that out depending on, you know, if you're working with a client that's more corporate and you're looking for something that's kind of like a modern corporate kind of vibe, uh, then you're going to want something that almost sounds like elevator music. It's something you would hear in an office building um, or something kind of light, uh, not to take me away. Because another thing, you know, they always say you never want the audience to notice the camera. You don't want people to feel like they're watching something. You want them to be kind of immersed and sucked into the experience. Um, that way, you know, that's why you kind of get rid of noise and try to have smooth shots. And, and you do things to make sure that the camera doesn't stand out in the production. And you want the music to kind of do the same thing. You want the music to just add to the vibe. And you don't want them to think about like, oh, well, this is an interesting music choice he made for the video. You want to just be like this one big creation where the music is kind of intertwined because it all flows so well together. So make sure to, to spend time on websites like Artlist so you can find the right song based on exactly what you're looking for. And so um, what I did with this shoot in particular, you can see that there are several different shoots that happened here. Um, there is the shoot with um, the actual owner of this company, Charles and his lifting partner here. And then we have another scene with the rugby players, of course, and then we have a scene with these girls on the treadmill. And so we did all of this kind of in, in a few different days. And then I put together this video and this was the main package that I put together for them. Um, you know, for a certain price, it was like, I'll make you guys this video with these many shooting days and, and this edit and the music, all that was kind of considered in the price. But then afterwards, I actually went back because I had so many clips. I, I spent, you know, probably three to six hours on each of these shoots, you know, the rugby team being one, uh, the two guys lifting being another, and then the girl sprinting um, was a separate shoot. So uh, I had all this footage left over because I shot a ton and only needed to fill a minute space, even less than that. So what I did was I went back through the clips and kind of did this unique thing where I found a song that fit a certain vibe and a feeling, and it kind of made these mini little tiny campaigns uh, to, to kind of accentuate this feeling of rough nutrition in the gym um, lifestyle kind of thing. So if I pull in this one here uh, that I titled Courtney Press, this guy is IFBB Pro, Courtney English, and if I play this real fast. That one gets me every time. It, it almost gives me chills because it's so simple but to me, it says so much. To me, it, it says determination. To me, it says, like, this guy is, he's here for a reason. He's not wasting his time. He's, he's kind of leaving it all out. He looks intense. He looks completely engulfed in this one exercise, in this one motion. And the music kind of takes it to that crazy level. And this isn't even really a song. It's more like an interlude in a song. It's not even like a real music track. I think it's a, a tiny part of a music track, but sometimes that's all it takes to get across that emotion, um, that feeling 
and 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 this is like a whole other commercial. It's one shot. It's one shot. So moving forward, I did this for a couple of the other shots. There's this one too. Again, I mean, that's, to me, that's epic. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's epic. So uh, it's the same kind of feeling. It's this one guy doing this one motion um, with this kind of just this part of the song. You don't even really get a vibe for where the song even goes. And that's kind of the best part is before you figure out where the song goes, it cuts. And you don't know what happens after that. But I mean, it, it's kind of just that anticipation is an amazing thing and the audience will put a lot of pieces together if you give them the right pieces and if you just lay it out in front of them they'll put it together and they'll make things up in their head I mean who knows what the audience is going to think is happening before this started or after it ends you know you see this crowd they're hyped this guy's shirtless he's huge this guy's lifting up who knows how much weight I mean that's got to be three four hundred pounds um and he just looks unscarred by it, just, uh, and that's the vibe. And you can feel that because of the crowd little sound effects in the background, because that song is kind of driving, you know, and it's funny because that song is completely different than this other song, but yet the campaign as a marketing campaign as a whole still works. And that's why Artlist is so powerful and strong. Um, and let me drag in one more, and then I'll kind of tell you what I did with all three of these. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my life. Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip blocking, but you, I know it, you know it, we make it. I mean, this one, God, it's hard to even like say which one's my favorite because to me, this one says a lot too. It's like completely different than the other two. This one's like, Three girls, they all look completely different, you know what I mean? They kind of all three have different shapes and they're all kind of on this journey, the same journey of like, we're walking in here to kick some butt. And I love that. And the song gives you that vibe. This 10, 15 seconds of song gives you that vibe. But it also feels kind of girly, but it also feels kind of like, oh yeah, great. Are we going to the gym y'all? Are we going to the gym? Gym? Don't want to get protein shakes? You know what I mean? So I, I, that's that's just such a big thing that I just did with four different tracks that were all great tracks, but all completely different. This is like an entire marketing campaign. I mean, this is one commercial in itself, and then these can be its own separate thing, or they could all be one huge marketing campaign together. And so at the end of the day, I cut together these three videos and then went back to the client, sent them the videos with a watermark and was like, hey, you guys can pick these up too and kind of continue what you started with this first commercial. And clients love that because Instagram, they need more content all the time. It's terrible. It's like the never ending. They all have to be a never ending fountain of content. And so they're all kind of in this crisis. So when you, as the guy that they hired, kind of go out of your way to even present this other option that they can pay for, I mean, it's not like you're just giving it to them. They appreciate that. They're like, uh, what? All oh, these are awesome. Yes, we'll take them. We'll take them. Whatever they cost. Yes, yes. Take our money. Give us these so we can look professional. We can sound professional. And now this brand, this was their first commercial, this, this one here. And so now as their, no, this was their second commercial. Sorry. But as their second commercial, now they're coming out of the gate swinging, all because I had access to great music, all because I had access to great music. So you guys check out our list, link in the description. Definitely make sure to like this video. I know it was my first partnered video and I'm not trying to be too salesy on you guys. I'm just trying to keep it real. I'm trying to tell you what changed my life when it came to when I started my video production business and what can potentially change your life. So like this video if you liked it. If you don't like it, like it anyway. It really helped the channel out. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, definitely leave them in the comment section down below and feel free to subscribe because I'm making new videos on video production to Ventures all, all the time. They're all bangers. So please subscribe. And as always, I'm Marcel and this has been a Modern Filmmaker. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.